welcome to a new video and a new challenge today we have impoppable with tier twos now i've done impoppable with tier fours tier threes and it's finally time for tier twos now you might be like this is so hard it's impossible we'll see about that i think there's a way it can be done but like any good game we start with the free monkey and click play now realistically there's only a few ways we can be able to beat this so we have a ceramic problem and a ddt problem i think the ddt problem is actually not as bad as people might think so ddt is obviously a strong tower to say the least um a strong balloon to say the least but there's such a thing as a sniper, and I feel like I can fit in a few snipers on this map. So that might be my goal. In terms of making money, it's gonna suck. There's there's not much I can say about that. Um, tier 2 banana farms haven't always been known as uh, absolute farming prodigies, but not a lot I can do about that with this sort of challenge. A 101 ninja monkey is gonna have to do for now, but definitely coming into the later parts, we're gonna have to get a new ninja monkey probably sharp sh uh, sharp shurikens jesus christ uh, that almost got me that um but for now we need to do a bit of farming i may have messed up let's uh let's get back to where we were okay i've moved on a little bit further from where we were around 39 we're just going to get the moab out soon and i went for a bit more of a submarine approach because they're going to be able to hit loads of the map and they do a good amount of damage at this level should be plenty for the mob to die, and as it does, the farming is getting um, very tiresome, I would say. Uh, they don't make much, and uh, they're very easy to make. So, I might have quite a lot of them on my screen by the end of this game. Which uh, might be a bit more difficult to collect, but we'll obviously have to wait and see, you know. You never know. It might just suddenly become super duper easy to collect and I um, have no problems. Obviously, I'm not going to use powers, but this is where I can see farmers becoming a real benefit to my cause. Um, yeah, it's not massively fun doing all this collecting, but I guess you do what you got to do what you got to do. But as you can see here, we actually are coming into a bit of a problem in terms of our DPS. And there's not a lot we can do on our monkey subs, so we're going to have to come out with one of the stronger towers we can actually get in the end. Which, unsurprisingly, is a super monkey. Now, I can do many different super monkeys here, but the one that everyone's going to expect and the one that I'm going to get is going to be the... Uh, top path cross middle now the range is probably going to be very useful obviously i can get a camo signal for everything we can lob it back here or something and yeah it can do camo damage now it can see quite a lot of the map and it's just going to do a whole lot of extra damage to well really any balloons that come through and hopefully not you know too high health balloons but We'll see how round 60 is and how round 63 is and then see where we have to go from there. Okay, so round 60 wasn't too bad with the extra snipers I made. But we're definitely going to need another big boy um, super monkey. Exact same uh, buffs as the previous one to get through round 63. We probably won't be able to get the exact same buffs, but as long as we have plasma and a little bit of an extra range buff, we should be fine. Uh, here we go. Okay, that was perfectly fine. Plasma Monkey's dealt with it perfectly. No real problems there. Um, and now I need to start thinking of what I'm going to do in the later rounds. So this is a good start. We now have the ZOMG coming out. Now these guys can't do that much, but they will be turned into Plasma Boys as soon as, you know, the money comes in. Talking about money, it's not looking as good as I wish it was. So, obviously, these have all made way more than they cost, but... Okay, we have one more up here, and I think we can finally turn the top guys into... Oh, 
went to a third tier there accidentally. We can turn the top guys into their super monkey uh, laser plasma range counterparts. And uh, we can start to go into our final phase and our final form of all the towers we're really going to be able to buy and upgrade. Okay, we're out of money now, but we have all of our... Pretty much all the farms we're going to be able to get. And there is a few other spots, but to make farming easier, having only two spots to really look at is going to be quite important. Okay, we're on now 92. A few of the DDTs have been killed. But obviously, we are far, far from done. And we're going to need to continue to keep building our laser blaster plasma um well our plasma monkeys now the sniper monkeys are going to be decent at killing the ddts round 95 might be a bit cha challenging to say the least but i think round 98 is still going to be our biggest challenge but obviously i'm going to sell all of our uh, farms before round 98 even comes around round 95 obviously one of the Harder rounds we have. Um, sorry, there's a notification that always comes up when I get a subscriber. Hopefully, we can just about thought our way through it. And there we go, round 96 is a hard round as well. But obviously, just gonna have to continue to keep getting as many laser blasters as we can, and plasma blasters as we can. It's making it very far through. And we're going to have to do a little restart. Because of that, I know that I need to just sell all of my farms. We need to make as much money as we can now. And there we go. This isn't actually that much money, which is quite unfortunate. Now, there's no other towers I can really get. I can't go Moab glue, but I can get regular glue. Um, I might want to look at getting an ice monkey. So, obviously, I can get cold snap refreeze i can't obviously get embrittlement but slowing them down might actually end up being one of the more important things we're going to quickly sell our alchemist in the middle and get at least two of these with permafrost and mm, deep freeze could be more important but we don't need to do the damage so we'll just go with top bottom make sure it can hit lead uh leads and camos and obviously got the refreeze so it can stop them but most likely it won't stop them up here as well is going to be important and then we're going to get um just a few more uh laser blasters really trying to max out the amount of damage we can do so 6k i might as well get some more ice monkeys in critical positions um, round 98 was causing a real problem. I'm going to have to either sell or put these two possibly first. Doing a lot of damage to ceramic balloons and killing them as quick as possible. Um, if this doesn't work, I might have to sell them and try something else. Maybe if I had a better farming strategy, this would have worked. A bit easier but we're gonna try and do with what we can with what we have so going for all of them obviously stickier glue I'm also gonna focus on having another knockback um, laser blaster at the back so using the Benjamin ability not gonna help that much able to siphon off so we did get less problematic balloons to face us looking a lot better this time and there we go still gonna finish off my m1 and this is the ddt problem so i still have them on first and we have the last bit so that um balloon siphon was very important there and there we go that's going to be impossible with only tier twos Yes, I always use the hero and the siphon. I don't know if I would have been able to do it without it. But that's how I decided to do it. Thanks for watching and peace.